How is it going out there, everybody? This is Speedboy14 on my playthrough of Super Mario 3D Land for the Nintendo 3DS. If you guys give me a favor and drop a like on this video, I'd really appreciate it big time. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button and click on the bell right beside it. Be notified every time my new videos come out. Exciting feature of the channel, you can request your favorite level or your favorite world in the game in the comments below. Also, let me know down in the comments below for a question of the video. What is your favorite Mario power-up? I would love to know. If I had to pick my favorite power-up, that would have to be the Cloud Mario from Super Mario Galaxy 2. Because I love that power-up. I love how you can create your own platforms with that power-up. The first star coin of this level is very easy. Just use the binoculars and aim towards Toad. And that's all you have to do to get it. And there we go. That's the first star coin. Very easy to get. Other power-ups I really like. I also really like the squirrel suit from New Super Mario Bros. U. And I also really like the cat suit from Super Mario 3D World. And I really like... um. And I also really like the elephant power-up from Super Mario Bros. Wonder. Hit some some P-switches you can hit in this game. If you hit P-switches, you get music notes you can play in order to get a 1-up. So that's kind of cool. And the second star coin's around here. I mean third star coin. Oh, we already got the second one in the other room. I, I misspoke. But I'm glad we got all three Stark ones. There we go. Go inside this pipe. We can float over here if you was a Tanuki suit. You can hit these panels right here to create your path right here. Ground pound here. And, and get the top of the flagpole for the win like a boss. <laughs> Or if you have the Tanuki suit, you can use the floating technique of the Tanuki suit to make it a little easier to get the top once you get up in the air. One thing I liked about Super Mario 3D World is that to getting the top of the flagpole in that game, even in the levels it was tricky to do in, you could always use the cat suit to get the top. That's what I loved about 3D World. But in 3D Land, the Tanuki suit does make it a little easier to get the top at least because you can, because the flagpole is not that tall of a flagpole. It's just about regular height of a flagpole. And, um... And you'd have to, um... And you'd just have to jump normally to get on top of the flagpole. And normally you could do it with no power up and it'd be easy enough. But the Tanuki suit does make it a little easier because you can jump and float a little bit in the air. We got our first star coin. Very easy. The unique part about this level is that you have these panels you hit. We can float over here. You have a fire flower over there. I do not want to use that. I am keeping the Tanuki suit, which is the bomb of this game, which is the main power up of this game. Tanuki suits are the bomb in this game. They're the most important power ups yet. Because they will make the game a lot easier than playing it without. There's a second star coin right there. Very easy. That's all you gotta do. Just this Tanuki suit makes this game so easy. Like it really does. The third star coin is, is a little bit tricky. Cause what you would have to do for What? Maybe there's a level in Special World I'm thinking about that requires you to step on a block to get a star coin. Or maybe a level. Oh, the third star coin is real easy. I remember now. You just go down here, and then you use your Tanuki tail to attack. And then like that. Very easy. That's all you gotta do to get your third star coin. World 2 is basically a very easy world. Just like World 1, except slightly more difficult. Because World 1 is the easiest world in the game, which makes sense, because World 1 is the first world. Alright. Alright. Now we have a mystery box we can do. I love these mystery boxes in this game. Because you can get more star coins than these. 
We just need to attack these guys. And he also had those enemies in Super Mario 3D World. And then we can collect those coins and collect our star coin. And there we go. Now we can open our path to 2-3. Which is this level right here. You can spin this screw thing right here to go up to this area up here. And you'll have an 8 bit Luigi up here instead of an 8 bit Mario. And this will also give you your first star coin. Very easy. And we're just going to go back here to get our propeller block so we can use it. Excuse me. We can hit this. Collect all the musical notes. Get a one-up. And that's it. We can spin this screw to go up here. And we just have a Goomba is all we have. We don't have really anything else. We can hit this switch and we can follow these coins if we want to collect more coins. And you can use a propeller block to collect some coins. Let's see how many coins we can collect. There we go. The second star coin's over here. Okay, this one is a little bit tricky to get because what you gotta do is drop down and propeller back up. It's still pretty easy if you know what to do. The only tricky part is you have to bounce off the Goomba and then wait until you get down to the star coin and then press A to propeller back up. Okay, third star coin is right here. We need to spin this screw with the Tanuki tail. And then use our propeller box to propel her up. That's it. And you have an 8-bit Princess Peach right there, which is awesome. Yep. This looks similar to the first level from the original Super Mario Bros. Which is pretty awesome. And there we go. I really like that level. It's a really unique level. <laughs> Alright, World 2 4. Here we go. We just need to just. The Tanuki suit is making this level so easy. Look at this. Okay, we need to jump over here. That's the first star coin. Very easy. That's all you gotta do. Ground pound this note block to get to another area in the sky where we can get our second star coin. We need to just slowly time our... We need to carefully time our jumps. Just have to be careful. Second star coin is acquired. What happens if you spin this screw? Oh, nothing. Nice, we get one up. That's the third star coin right there. We got all three star coins that quickly. Top of the flagpole like a boss. And we got some fireworks right there at the end of the level. And we unlock a path to the Toad House, which we're not going to go to the Toad House because we already have two Tanuki suits anyway. We're just going to go to the airship, which is the last level of World 2. Wow, we're... We're just barely under 10 minutes in. We're not even... We're not that 
this video's not been that long. Like I said, these videos shouldn't be that terribly long because these worlds are very short in this game. Okay, so we go inside this box right here to get to this area with the first star coin. Very easy. That's all we got to do. That's the first star coin. We have two more star coins to get. That's the first one. Very simple. That's all you got to do. It's an auto scroller, so you have to make sure you get the star coin when you see it. But it's not that hard to do. It's, it's very simple. That's the second one. Just wild jump off that. And then get your third star coin right here. Very easy. That's it. Now go inside this pipe. And we're going to fight the first mini boss, which is Boom Boom. So basically what you got to do with him is you got to jump on him like this. And then he's in his shell. And then now we just have to jump on him again or tail swipe him with a tanuki tail if you're using the tanuki suit. He was also in Super Mario 30 World and he was also in New Super Mario Bros. U and he was also in Super Mario Bros. 3 and just attack him like that. That's it. Very easy. Not a difficult boss by any means at all. Now we made it to... Now we can go this way to get our one up. And we made it to the end of the level. So now we can get the top of the flagpole like this. How easy was that? I didn't even die once. That was awesome. Mario! Off to World 3 we'll go. And we'll do World 3 next time. Alright guys, that was it. Thank you very much for watching guys. If you enjoyed, don't forget to drop a like. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button and click on the bell right beside it. Be notified every time I make new videos. Have a wonderful day. Peace, Republic of Speedboy.